Have you experienced feeling like something's missing and not really able to quite put your finger on it or able to express it? There may be an aspect of you that hasn't been tapped into and possibly unrevealed to you as yet. It's time to dive into the mystery as your soul may be calling you to dive in, explore your deeper desires and take pleasure in your divine feminine to be more fully you and feel fully expressed. We're delighted that you've joined us. Now, here's the host of Divine Feminine with Marcella. Welcome everyone to Divine Feminine with Marcella. Today's topic is letting go. I am Marcella, your host and guide. And before we dive into today's show, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Again, I am Marcella, Marcella Oliana, and I am a divine feminine guide, a psychic intuitive, soul essence reader, sacred arts facilitator, and my work has always been about deepening into love and guiding women to return to their essence, remembering their magic, and embracing their soul beauty. So um, coming here today and really bringing in these messages, these channeled divine feminine messages uh, to help embrace and bring up and out the divine feminine within all of us is the purpose and intention. And today, again, weaving in and emerging um, ways that we can really tune in and tap in that really allows us to experience the depths of our being, a depth of our soul and in my work and supporting, guiding women to deepen, exploring their true essence. I am excited to really introduce again today's topic of letting go. And it's all about listening and letting go. So have you heard people say to just let go? This week on Divine Feminine with Marcella, I will share my perspective on what letting go means. I will share possible ways of letting go and allowing and what that may mean for receiving flow and fulfillment. So taking a moment to receive that with the breath, always starting with the breath and a powerful way to just allowing ourselves to let go, let go of the, the way that we can experience constrictions in our lives, the way that we can experience what we need and desire in a way of not receiving or a way that can feel um, that we're not being fully met. At the same time, it can also feel like what we're experiencing out in our in our world, in our life, um, things that we do not agree with or what we see that are not really fully in way tapped into spirit, right? Our spirituality and knowing our wisdom or ways that we can see other people acting that we um, can feel like a sense of charge or maybe triggered or, or a way that we can maybe experience our, our, our life that we have certain um, things that we want to have come into our lives. Or like, for example, uh, we're wanting a partner or a relationship and in a way feeling um, sometimes disempowered of what is happening in our lives currently, what may be showing up and it being maybe feeling like it is full away or full off, <laughs> like 360 degrees of looking around in our world. It's like, doesn't feel like what I desire or what I wanted and why are these things happening or challenges or challenging moments. What the call is, right? Like in, in listening and have you heard people sharing with you in any way or in tapping into even social media, of like letting us to just let go, let go, let go, let go of holding on tight. The holding on tight of what we, what we think we want or what another way of looking at what we are experiencing on an emotional level that actually taps us out of or uh, takes us away from our true essence, our knowing and what our heart knows, what our soul wants. And in a way, 
constricting us from feeling love or experiencing the joy of love. And this topic today, letting go, lets us just first allow the invitation to happen. So whenever you're feeling constricted, whenever you feel like things are not going your way or that you've had um, a rough time or, uh, you know, recently or challenges that we see experiencing the first thing is the breath, right? And our breath allows us to flow into letting go, letting go of what we think so we can come or we think what we may need or what we may experience that is not letting flow in, letting us feel um, fulfilled, right? And the, the way that I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing these two white butterflies dancing around outside, right outside my window. So I'm letting that letting go energy and then feeling the energy and butterflies is like, ah, it creates space. It creates space in your body. It creates space in your life to allow spirit, the universe, the, whatever it is that you call the divine to come in and fill in your higher self, your divine self to help you tune in, tap in and flow. As I shared, there's possible ways that we can really allow ourselves to just release. And the image I'm receiving and the image that I'm planning to uh, bring out and fulfill this weekend is like this sense of letting go and floating, floating on top of the water as I'll be floating this weekend on the on uh, various versions of water, <laughs> water sources like the beach and um, the pool, etc. So that you can allow the softness, the gentleness, the flow in a way that guides you, guides you to where you're being directed. So when we allow ourselves to let go, we're creating that space, that opening for us to be directed, natural flow in the way that we can go down the avenues, right? The, the, the river, right? Down the river of flow where universe and spirit wants to take us. So there's plenty of ways that we can um, come up with ideas and examples of where we may need to let go and following your body first and foremost is like, where do you feel the constrictions? Where do you feel the constrictions in your body that have you feeling tight, right? Tight in a way that does not allow for flexibility and adaptivity, adaptivity in your life. And why I'm saying that is because when we're holding tight, it also creates like, like kinks in the hose, right? Kinks in our systems that doesn't let the breathing and the flow come in and out and also can help what it can also happen, <laughs> what can also happen when we're like holding on tight is not allowing energy and emotions to flow. So we'll speak more into this energetic movement, how we need to allow the flow and the open and letting go, like let go. You may have heard let go, let God. So I'll say let go, let goddess, let go, let the divine, let go, let your higher self lead your divine self, your aspect of you that tunes in, that knows, that can tap into where you need to source. So understand that also the letting go so that you can see and the seeing where the clarity is and the seeing a clairvoyant seeing, it could be a you know third eye um, insight, insight seeing, even if it's not in front of you or in front of you to let yourself see where you're being directed and where you can receive more a flow of love and what you truly are really um, being guided to lean into. So the letting go, like letting go creates this energetic opening, like, oh, okay, I'll let go, release, let myself allowing the receiving, the deeper receiving of love and experience of what flow truly means. And I, in a previous show, I spoke into the deep feminine flow as we're talking about the divine feminine and this is that divine feminine allows us to tap into our natural energy, our essence, 
the aspect of us that are is in connection to spirit, a connection to your soul essence. And when we're feeling that constriction, there's something that is in our life, in it, in our experience that is um, not allowing for that flow to happen. And the call is to connect and commune, communicate to those places that feel constricted, that feel that you've been holding on tight and what's underneath. So as I'm sharing about the flow, I'm, see, I'm sharing also the energy. What's the vibrational energy in the ask of what's the underlying current? Because when we tap into the underlying current of what's happening in our experiences or our life or where we need to let go, we can receive insight and attune to what's really needed and necessary. Because as working with women and own, in my own life, we can see what we're wanting or what we're grasping or holding on tight to. Many times there's what our intention was, why we're doing that is something else that is actually flowing underneath under in the undercurrent that brings us back to places that we need to clear places that we may have heard or where we were also experiencing um, constriction. So this is like outer constriction. So I know in a previous show, I also talked about where our spirit does not allow or, or, or I'll say it in a different way that our spirit somehow was constricted, right? The joy, a joy of our soul expression somehow was shut down or shut down, you know, in a way that our spirit now in, in those places, those aspects, it um, no longer can express, right? Or there's no expression or there is somehow a shutdown in a way that we have to um, experience or explain ourselves or not being able to even speak because I know from working with different women and their experiences of abuse or um, tragedy, you know, from, you know, a spectrum of that or even just being um, told somehow that you're not good enough, right? So this not good enough or not beautiful enough or that you're not, you know, you don't look a certain way or you're supposed to look a certain way to actually receive uh, um, love. So there's different ways that constrictions can, or this, this way that we can ex, you know, experience a shutting down can happen in our lives. And this first way that you can do is just breathe, Intention to let go. I'm letting go, letting my divine essence my, and the divine to lead, to receive, so that I don't know, no longer have to hold on to things that don't serve me. Don't no longer have to hold constrictions in my body, my energy field, my my way that I view the world. So we'll be going deeper into that next week in releasing old frameworks releasing. So first and foremost, let go. So just before we go on to our first break, I'll invite you to just be present. Let yourself feel your body right now in the moment, wherever you're sitting or standing or walking, just notice your body, notice your breath, right? I'm taking a breath with you. So take a deep breath. Let your body just receive, receive energy, receive light through your breath so that you can receive to make space so that you can let go. Letting go so that you can open up, open up, open up to receive something that is even bigger and grander from more than what you may even know is possible. First step, breathe, let go. As we are now on the top of our first break, giving you an intention to just letting go. Where do you need to let go in your life right now? Where, how, whether it's your body, a situation, um, an experience that you may have currently, ex you know, are currently working in your mind or you may have um, recently experienced, just invite the break to breathe and let go. 
So again, it's time for our first break. You are listening to Divine Feminine Show with my, myself, Marcella Liana, on the Inspired Choices Network. And when we return, we will continue to tune into, tuning into letting go. We will be right back. Are you a woman who's been possibly feeling like you're going through the motions and not really feeling fully engaged in your life and or your love life? Not feeling fulfilled or seen and wondering, is this all there is? Reignite your passion, pleasure, and divine essence desires by tuning into the Divine Feminine with Marcella Show, where she guides you into the mystery of your feminine magic. Listen to Divine Feminine with Marcella Show every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 Central, 12 Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You'll be so pleased that you did. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella, the show that awakens your feminine magic and deep dives you into your essence and desires. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Divine Feminine with Marcella. I am your host and guide, Marcella Liliana. Thank you for joining me here at Inspired Choices Network. Today's topic is all about letting go. And I know from my work and, you know, my own experience about letting go, allowing to flow, letting go and letting flow is what I what I'd like you to really tune into and tap in when you're saying letting go or saying when someone says to you, just let go. And it can also feel jarring, right? Sometimes it's like that jarring of like, oh, am I holding tight or why am I being told to let go or, or I still want what I want. Letting go can also feel like a, sur a surrender from a of a space of not allowing, right? Surrendering in a place that can feel like a defeat. And what I would bring in or invite you to feel is surrendering and letting go is more about allowing your full self, your higher self to guide you, allow you, flow you to where you really need to be and experience and releasing old aspects or aspects of the holding on tight or what you need uh, or what you're like wanting in a way that you can see, right? A perspective that you can see what is actually happening, where the constrictions are, where you may feel you want this now and it's not the right timing or the right, not the right perspective. Or there's, again, as I shared before the break, where there is actually more or a bigger perspective or a larger view of what you really want. So the letting go allows for an opening, a deeper, a bigger opening for clarity to receive a bigger picture, to receive a, like a grander view, like I shared, of what is really happening and what you truly desire. And I know um, one of the things that I work a lot with women, with women and is about relationship. And I know that uh, women in the work that I've done and what I've seen as one of the themes right, of experiencing is wanting a relationship or wanting a relationship to be a certain way. And as you may have heard, right, it's like, where is it for you? Where are you needing to take what you want out there, right, out in the world, what you're seeing out, out in the world and what you truly desire how you can embody that, how you bring that in and mirror reflecting it back to you. To you. And I'm seeing this um, image now um, 
clairvoyantly around letting ourselves just be on the lake, right? Floating on the lake, floating the lake, the lake as a mirror, as a reflection in our lives. I, just before the break, we were just chatting about floating on and diving in and swimming in the lake. So this flow and letting go, it's like, oh, you don't have to hold it anymore. You don't have to hold things that are heavy anymore. So this, re this releasing is this holding on the outer way or, or holding energy that is no longer yours or yours to hold. So first and foremost, this letting go allows an opening, a release, a light, lightening up, right? Making things more light. So that you can also feel what's underneath. What are the constrictions as I shared before the undercurrent that needs to be felt or released? What's underneath that is driving the, the need or the want that of grasping maybe or wanting something and having to let go. There's this beautiful flow that you can really invite in, in the intention is of saying, well, right now I'm just gonna allow and let go, let go so that I can surrender and trust. I'll go deeper into trusting in a future show, but the space about letting go so that you can tap into your spirit, your soul, your essence, because what I've also noticed in this, like wanting a relationship, like I shared as a theme, there is something that we're, what we're, what we're ask, asking for actually, or what we're wanting from the outside is something that we feel, or we, we're not tapped into in our own life or our own body, our own, own experience, our own relationship to ourselves, or what we are grasping for out there or wanting, desiring, and what I, is an is a energy from the top. What I mean by the top is like something that is not the true thing. It's something that is like maybe a facade or something that's on the surface and not the full depth of what your soul and your spirit like uh, really desires or wants or, or likes or truly intends. So in the letting go as a threshold, as an in, invitation, as an initiation to like, oh, now I can really listen and truly receive what my soul truly desires on an essence level. We are now allowing ourselves to tune in more deeper or deeper into our true resonance, our true vibrational flow, what our true colors are, what our true expression is. And I know from the work that I've done with women and, you know, this continues to unfold in different forms around when we're wanting a, like a relationship, we're, we're tapping in top, the top version of that or what it may look like on a surface level. And we're not tapping into the, the, the deeper magnetic resonance of who we are on an essence level so that we're resonating deeper. And the flow, that's a vib vibrational pull, a magnetic, a resonant, a connection, like a synergetic, synergistic energizing of what we truly desire but if we're holding on tight to things that are not really in alignment to that or really not tapped in or you're saying letting go so that you can tap in or allowing the invitation right intention of letting go letting spirit there is a bigger unlimited possibilities that can happen in the conversation that can be synchronized in divine orchestrations or divinely orchestrated for you because you're allowing the deeper value of what letting go and surrendering and trusting can bring to you this deeper magic. So I'm pausing. So you can, again, take a few deep breaths, letting yourself feeling about letting, letting go as the imitation before our first break was what aspect of your life right now feels like you need to make space or is asking you to let go, make space. Don't hold on tight from a space of constriction or control. Again, control is a big one. Control, it's like I have to control it. It's like what's happening underneath? What are the undercurrents that you are feeling the energy of control? These are opportunities. So this energy of letting go if you let go let your like even my hands are when I'm saying constrictions like I'm making fists there's like this fist energy right it's like holding on tight 
Letting your body first to let go. It's like, okay, opening up your hands, letting yourself feel, letting yourself even experience what it feels like when we let go. Like I have this sensation of like water showers, like being under a beautiful just shower of water to like, oh, release, right? <laughs> Releasing flow so that I can let go of the holding tight, of holding of a version of me, a version of what I think is right for me or what maybe others think is right things for me or holding an like a version of version meaning like v-e-r-s-i-o-n version of a situation that is actually not yours or not connected to your essence or who you are or a version of something that is actually what's leading is somehow an undervaluing you or maybe not the true strength of who you are, um, having resilience. Maybe um, you may have heard somebody, give, uh, you know, as I'm, I'm seeing something like as a child or as if in your young, you're you saying, oh, you're not good enough in something. And then somehow it's like having to, um, you, you're holding, somehow it's in your field, right? You're holding that or, or making a decision in a way of, I have to prove myself or prove my worthiness. That's an energy that's not really you, right? <laughs> it's not your your true intrinsic nature. It's just someone maybe constricting you or putting you down. Whatever's leading for that person or that experience or that situation, like let go. It gives an opportunity for you to let go of those things. And it's like, oh, I don't have to, I don't have to move my life or experience my life or make decisions based on those frameworks again we'll deepen into this in a future show but this allowing to let go you're asking and calling in and sharing to spirit i'm letting go so that i can receive something more aligned and fully aligned i'll say this deeper fully fulfillment that is truly your resonant um your resonant self your soul essence. And I'll just keep sharing that because it's these la this languaging and the words, what's underneath soul essence, letting go, making space, surrendering into possibility, releasing. So you're allowing true fulfillment, true um, value of flow that will truly deepen you into what you truly desire. So as an example, that relationship is like, if you're wanting this it's like holding on like I need to have this if you let go you get to actually experience <laughs> what's underneath and what you truly desire this true aspect of you and as we are now circling into our second break here I'll deepen into what that feels like what that may look like or feel in your experience and intention when we let go so now we are here on the top of our second break. Again, today's topic is letting go. You are here with me on the Divine Feminine with Marcella show at Inspired Choices Network. We will return in a few moments. Are you a woman who's been possibly feeling like you're going through the motions and not really feeling fully engaged in your life and or your love life? Not feeling fulfilled or seen? and wondering, is this all there is? Reignite your passion, pleasure, and divine essence desires by tuning into the Divine Feminine with Marcella Show, where she guides you into the mystery of your feminine magic. Listen to Divine Feminine with Marcella Show every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 Central, 12 Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You'll be so pleased that you did. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, 
we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella, the show that awakens your feminine magic and deep dives you into your essence and desires. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Divine Feminine with Marcella. I am your host and guide, Marcella Liliana, and today our topic is letting go. So before we went to break, we were discussing a few different ways of how letting go or the intention or the invitation to let go may look like. And before we dive back into letting go, let me share a little bit about what's happening with sacred feminine medicine here um, with my work with Divine Feminine with Marcella. I am offering a ritual workshop in Morristown, New Jersey next week, actually July 8th called Awaken Your Divine Feminine. So if you are in the area or if you want to know more, you can visit us at sacredfeminine.medicine.com for more information, or you can always email us at love at sacredfeminine.medicine.com. And we'll uh, speak a little bit more about that in our last break, but giving this energy, um, this intention, this topic, letting go is so important. And I know from different conversations I've had recently, um, different ways that the ask about letting go is so front and center. <laughs> letting go is not, again, is not in a, in, a, in a way a failure because sometimes feel people may say, feel like, well, if I let go somehow, um, I won't get what I need or I won't be served or I won't feel mad or, or really not experience what I really, you know, think that I want or what I really want. So there, this beautiful way of letting go is really an invitation so that you may receive. It's a beautiful invitation to say that you are letting Go, letting flow, letting love in, letting the, the space happen so that you can re receive and release whatever you're holding on to, whatever is being held. And I know collectively this is a big conversation right now about letting go in a way so that whatever the energy is underneath or whatever is um, being constricted is actually giving the opportunity to do the thing that it needs to do. So what I mean by that is if, you know, in this letting go and surrendering, allowing, if there is, again, in this topic, I'll, I'll go back to relationships and I'll go deeper into relationship resonance and um, in the future show, but this relationship, when you're letting go, you're creating space for the conversation to happen on a deeper level and saying, what, what is it right now that you desire, that you know, that, that you truly want and letting your soul and spirit speak to you, right? And in that invitation, you can have a conversation that goes a little bit more like, what do I truly desire? What does this really look like for me? And what do I need to do for myself? Or what is the invitation for me to do for myself so that I can really feel that and fulfill that within my own life so that you're allowing the steps. And sometimes we're, we have to take those small steps. It's like just this step right now, feel that so that we are energetically experiencing that shift, right? And if there's challenges that show up, if there's a challenge that show up, it's that act, the action of letting go releasing, allowing, and then leaning in so that you take the action to shift it, right? Or amplify it. So like if you're having a conversation that feels like the essence of like, this is the type of relationship I want, or this is what I really want. Oh, I, in me letting go, I allowed the universe, my higher self to orchestrate certain conversations or connections or um, situations to help me really tune in 
to what I truly desire. And there's always that opportunity. It's like, where are the opportunities? What is the opportunity now in present, in present time, present time to lean in to really actualize, intend, and bring to fruition will manifest or manifest however that looks like what you really want. So that it's not an intention. That's something that is not fully the thing that you want. So an example of that would look like, as I shared with some relationship, I know that um, working with different people on relationships is like, oh, I want to get married. And there, that could look like something that is a situation or a contract that's on top. It's a surface thing. It's like, what, what, is, the, what is it that you really want? That marriage, saying marriage is a conversational piece or an intention piece. It's like, what's real? Because married, you can be married to the wrong person. You can be in a relationship that does not serve you. You can you know, go into a marriage that actually is opposite of experiencing depth or intimacy or um, connection. So, so it's not the marriage that you want. It doesn't mean it's not a relationship or a, a, a sacred contract that you wanna you know, get into a sacred space of intimacy, but it creates an opening so that you're letting go to really feel as a, what does it feel like? What is the experience it? And where's the growth opportunities, emergency, this opening, this deeper growth and intention in relationship, relating partnership. And again, this relationship within you. So when we're allowing ourselves to let go of something that it may be on the surface level, um, that may be not what really the uh, is, the intention on a deeper level, we let go, like let, let it all go. We have an opportunity to our soul, our essence, our divine energy to bring in that which is, right? The orchestration, what is, and then letting the timing happen on a bigger, bigger pulse, bigger perspective on a more grander view. I shared that in as the beginning, this grander view, what's the grander view? And when we're allowing the grander view in, we get to see the nuances of what we truly intend so that how we communicate, right? Our intention has more specific energy to what we want. So in letting go and letting the larger saying, well, first and foremost is love, right? Love myself, love um, having love flow in my life and may that my connections and my community express that my situations my sacred work, my work, my situations, letting go, right? And then in the letting go, what shows up so that you can speak into what you do want and what's not working. So in that letting go, you're also allowing for the conversation to happen. It's like, what did not work in the past or what isn't aligned so that you can also feel more aligned or the invitation to say, then what is? And the letting go allows for a little bit more adventure of surrendering into the flow of the intention, what's underneath. And when I say underneath, it's the deep down, right? Underneath can also be like the undercurrents, the undercurrents. And I know from a aspect of letting go, and sometimes we have to let go of emotions, let go of saying how we say it and we holding on to this energetic deeper energetics and i'm saying the undercurrent it could look like passive aggressiveness a, 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 a passive aggressive <laughs> passive aggressiveness in that it's like what's the energy emotion like i'm holding on tight i have to let go because underneath it there's constricted emotions right that is actually leading and actually what you're magnetizing to you and the opportunity is to cleanse that and i clear that, give the opportunity to speak to you. It's like, where does that come from? Where's, where are the kinks? Where did it come from? So that you can do a bigger, um, a, a bigger understanding and clearing of what's actually more supportive of you, more resourced in love, as opposed to getting more of that, which you don't want. So when we're talking about, um, letting go right releasing letting go okay so now you can feel and release and, and notice how witness yourself have aha moments of like oh that's why i was holding so tight because i was having 
you know, I had this other relationship and that didn't go well for whatever reason. And I was holding on tight in a way that I might, there was fear about having that type of relationship again, or somehow holding on tight, not needing to see that, oh, somehow if I don't have a relationship, I can, what the pattern was is if I don't have a relationship, something's wrong with me or I'm not lovable or I'm not, um, somehow worthy, you know, th those things. So like when we let go, it's like creating space to like, first of all, be right breathe, go towards things that feel nourishing, that feel life-giving, that feel more connected to your values. Letting go allows that opportunity to make space to feel more your intrinsic level of your, of your spirit, more opportunity to see what you truly value and how your life is um, mirroring that or reflecting that or expressing that. Um, also, the letting go allows for that surrender so that you can receive something that's even, you know, so much better for you that you may not have gone towards. And how I, I like I shared is sometimes we go for like something that's smaller, not realizing that is not really the full picture, the full thing. So in my work, I, I know is part of my intention and how sake my sacred work comes in is like tapping into like what is the whole thing the fulfillment thing right where we also allow ourselves to let go and let go of situations right maybe even current relationships or current um career choices or positions or job whatever it looks like is first let go right let go let it show you, let life show you, let, let life direct you in a sense, in alignment with the divine, your divine essence, flow you into where you're being guided to go. Because when we're holding on too tight, too constricted, it's like we, we, we are anchored into places or possibly anchored to places that were not really meant for us or is not really serving us or it's not really um, bringing us fulfillment. So when we are letting letting go, we can then take the steps of surrendering into trusting something grander. That word grander keeps coming into this grander, grander, this grander views, grander intention and the grander evolution, right? This elevation. And I know sometimes we have to spiral back to situations, spiral back in a way of more of a more more mature way, I'll say, because mature is a big, a big thing that comes up in my, in my work is like, where are we making decisions from? Are we making decisions from that space that knows wh where we have a knowing there's integrity. There is a bigger view on how, what we do, how we act always has a reaction, always, um, has a, um, a connection to the world around us. So when we're making decisions, are like have that maturity wherever you are in your life, whether you're young or um, older, right? It's like where is this the where is this flow? Where is the decision that you're making? Is it serving you and serving the whole, right? Because if it's going to truly serve you, it's going to serve serve the whole in a grander way. So letting go, letting ourselves to be um, taken, shown brought down the, the flow, the divine flow, we can really experience many, um, many facets of the magic, right? Miracles can happen. And letting go us also allows us to release emotions that don't serve us, that are clogged up. And that, that message, the divine essence, right? Divine, this divine feminine channeling and then holding, being held space by the divine masculine is the call to in, intention. Keeps me circling back to that place, right? Like where there can be resentment and where we, we can shift the energy, right? Intending, asking for support, whatever that's like, where does that come from so that you can clear it? So there's this purity that you can come so that you really are more in who you are, the essence and the energy the vibration, your emotional flow that's more clear in intention of who you are, right? And how your situations and your experience in this world and this life and relationships with others 
is more tapped in, tuned into that essence, the beauty, the grace, the love, the strength, the resilience, the sacredness, the reverence. It's a big call, your words, your actions. So letting go allows a space for us to witness and receive attuning us deeper to where we are meant to source that is life-giving, loving, reverent, respectful, and so on. So we are here now on the top of our third break. And again, taking a moment to take a breath, make space, notice where you are now, be present with your body, where you, are, where you are, and notice anywhere in your body that wants to let go. Ask your body, ask your situations, what needs to let go, how to let go. We'll do, be more in that energy after this break. Again, thank you for joining me here in A Divine Feminine with Marcella show here at Inspired Choices Network. When we return, we will continue to tap in and tune into letting go. Are you a woman who's been possibly feeling like you're going through the motions and not really feeling fully engaged in your life and or your love life? Not feeling fulfilled or seen and wondering, is this all there is? Reignite your passion pleasure and divine essence desires by tuning into the divine feminine with marcella show where she guides you into the mystery of your feminine magic listen to divine feminine with marcella show every friday at 2 p.m eastern 1 central 12 mountain and 11 a.m pacific on inspiredchoicesnetwork.com you'll be so pleased that you did Welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella, the show that awakens your feminine magic and deep dives you into your essence and desires. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Divine Feminine with Marcella. I'm your host and guide, Marcella Liliana, and today our show topic is letting go. So before we come into this last part of our show here on letting go. I'd love to invite you to listen and tap in if you need sacred support, need to be witnessed and held into that space of what your true desires are, your soul essence, awakening your divine feminine with me privately, one-on-one. -on -one. You can reach us at love at sacredfemininemedicine.com for more information. And I would love to dive in with you, tune into your divine feminine magic, your essence, your energy, and your intentions. So again, thank you for joining me here today at Divine Feminine with Marcella here at Inspired Choices Network. Letting go, letting go this topic and this energy of allowing yourself, right? The this intention of letting go, allowing yourself to, to listen, receive. So when we let go, we are making space and saying yes to receiving on a bigger, deeper, more attuned way. So I shared how sometimes when we are feeling constricted or we're constricting or holding on tight to things, we are not allowing for flow to happen or in some way creating a constriction for us to really receive divine attention, divine flow. So divine love, okay? And what letting go allows us to feel and experience is also a way that we let our whole body open up our body and our experience to open up to what really is happening or what really wants to happen, right? And sometimes it's like that, just letting go and just take a break, right? Just release, let go, breathe, 
come back into you. And um, I know from the work and embodiment work, many times we have to allow, let go and let our body show us what we need and preparing us to pivot or shift or change our perspective so that we can really receive the thing that we truly desire. And I know um, from my work, sometimes we're holding on to things that are not ours, like our intentions. Like we're like, we need to have this thing. And it's like, where did that come from? What, is that truly your desire? And realizing actually I never really wanted that or I don't know why that come from or, or feeling into like where that really came from. I was like, oh, I'm holding on to other people's beliefs or what other people think that I need or somehow something that somehow will deem me worthy. I'll say it that way. Or um, there's some way that we are holding on to not enoughness. So not enoughness is a big, big theme that I also have seen and work with. And it's like, you are enough and letting go lets us feel into we are enough. We are enough. We are enough in who you are, breathing your soul moment to moment, breathing into who we are, who we are. Our essence is an invitation, our into invitation to gather resources, to take a break, to flow, allowing our life to really open up magically to a more inspired way of living right here. As we know, we're Inspired Choices Network and more divinely knowing that we are actually eternal divine beings, deeper understanding of strength and resilience leading us to more of who we are and receiving more of what that looks like. So valuing when we let go, it does not mean that we're letting go. So we don't, we don't actually get fulfilled or met or have the thing that we truly desire it actually makes space for us to really tap into what our true desires is. And I know in my work, it's like, that's where we want to tap into. Our body also has the wisdom as our vehicle, our vessel, our body to what that looks like. So this re-energizing energy allows us to first again, letting go and release old patterns. And next week, our topic We'll dive in and deepen into what does it mean to release old patterns and why we need to release old patterns. Letting go creates the space of bringing more magic in, allowing for the vibrational energy, the essence, the resonance, the deeper soul resonance of your true divine essence to move through you, through your work, through your words, through how you show up in your beingness right? Letting love flow. Let go. Let goodness. Let go. Let divineness. Let go. Let your spirit, your essence flow. Lead. Letting go allows for releasing whatever else is not yours. Whatever else is leading that is not connected to love. So with that, I thank you for joining me here today at the Divine Feminine Show with myself, Marcella Liana on the Inspired Choices Network. Next week, we'll dive into more divine feminine juiciness, flow, and love. Again, take a deep breath this weekend. Let go. See where you need to let go and notice what shows up, what juiciness and magic will be divinely orchestrated for you to fully receive and bring you to deeper fulfillment. With that, thank you for joining us here today at Inspired Choices Network. Sending lots of love. I'm Marcella Liliana, your host and guide here at Divine Feminine Show. Thank you. Thank you for choosing to listen to Divine Feminine with Marcella Show. We're delighted that you joined us today. Marcella Barone will return next Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central, 12 Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com.
we hope you'll join us. Until then, have a pleasurable week, fully tapped in to your divine feminine.